We messed up. Shake it back, baby. Shake it back. I'm on fire. I'm happy if you're happy, baby. I'm very happy. <laughs> There's a YouTube family that we've been stalking since winter. They really should lock their location down a little better because we found them. My Love. wallet make me look sexy. <laughs> What do you get when you have Arkansan rednecks meet up with Texan rednecks in New York? Little dirt track racing. Let's see who's <laughs> beside us there. Who, who's that? I think we have a meeting of untethered and paving new paths right here in Dundee, New York tonight. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing. Number 18, or 83 if Alicia's telling the story. <laughs> it's 83. I mean, I think I have the oldest eyes here. Yeah. But my eyes are great. It's 83. Well, he's about, he's about to come by in front. Y'all can see what no number it is. Maybe we can ask him to stop so she can read it. <laughs> That's terrible. Let her walk. <laughs> Go, 83! Really, the scariest thing that happened tonight is Cody got a hot dog from the concession stand. I'm already regretting it. I ain't feeling too good. <laughs> Today, we are in Watkins Glen, New York. At Watkins Glen State Park. That's right. And it's only, what was this, like a 20 minute drive? Yeah. From where we're staying in Corning, New York. One of the coolest things about being up here is we're actually camped right down the road from some old friends of ours who went back in Big Ben. So we got to spend a lot of time hanging out with Kevin and Alicia from Paving New Paths. If you haven't checked out their channel, it's awesome, so make sure you do that. We've been watching them for a very long time, but they're just good people and we, we always enjoy our time together. Yep. All right, well come along and let's see what this park has to offer. Let's go. Down there. pretty wild, isn't it? Beautiful. Look at that. I mean, it's just crazy. The Gorge River goes all through there. There's a lot of people here. There are tons of people here, but this is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> Weather's perfect. Two thumbs up. Kevin's here. Kevin's here. We better go catch up. <laughs> happy with our choice for hiking shoes.
was 10 bucks per car to get in and park. Totally worth it. But it is really busy on Saturdays. Oh, and look, more stairs. More stairs. Have you been running the whole time like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. whole time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then why are we so far behind? Teach me tiger law. Read to me a poem. That... Jinx. That was an awesome state park. That's probably one of the best state parks we've been to all summer. That was really cool. I think going earlier, maybe you'd beat some of the crowd, maybe. For all the stairs and for it being a three mile hike, I don't feel like, like I didn't even know it was over. I was like, oh, we're here already. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty great. That and was nice. There's some uphills, but it's not too steep. It's actually really well maintained trails. The markings are really good. So that was pretty great, but we're all hungry. So we're gonna follow Kevin and Alicia over to a place called the Tiki Bar to have a little lunch. All at once I can see it. Just a little bit. Pretty impressive. Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen is such an adorable little town. It's right next to the Seneca Lake, which is part of Finger Lakes. But it's really pretty. I see a lot of sailboats. So we're gonna eat off of the lake and we're gonna have a really pretty view. So I'm excited about that. I actually called the Tiki Bar on Seneca Lake. There goes Kevin. I'm not sure where he's gonna put his dually. <laughs> we just had to parallel park. I'm, I'm just impressed by Cody's skills here. There's no parking at the restaurant, so... <laughs> You park on the street, but it looks like a cool place, and I bet there's something good to eat there. So let's check it out. I'm sure I can find some. Stuff. All at once in a dream, we are together. Kevin's off be killing duty. Sorry. <laughs> Show us how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> what? I knew I should wear my paving new pads hat today. <laughs> Man, what a good full day. I think we're gonna shut her down for the night and hit it early tomorrow. Yep. We got a few cool things planned tomorrow, one of which I'm really excited about. Fingers crossed that it works out. We're going to take a shot at it tomorrow morning. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Good morning, guys. We originally had a big breakfast plan. There's actually something really cool that we thought you guys would think was cool regarding a breakfast food. I it's, know that doesn't sound cool. It's not good for you, but it sure tastes good. <laughs> um, but it's gonna have to wait. Yep, we're skipping breakfast all together this morning because Kevin found a super interesting thing to go do with our trucks today. Cody's like a kid in a candy store, <laughs> giddy this morning. So I got up early, spray waxed the truck, got everything nice and clean. I'm gonna go do something I never thought I'd do with an F-350 today. So we'll just have to see you guys there. Let's go. Today we are at Watkins Glen International Speedway in Watkins Glen, New York and I'm about to put this F-350 on the track. We're here a little bit early. I'm just waiting on my buddy Kevin to pull up and maybe we'll get to see which F-350 is faster today. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the gate yet and already these two have been popping off <laughs> quite a number of Talladega Night quotes. Let us know in the comments just how many Talladega Nights quotes you catch. Or drop us your best quotes in. <laughs> If you ain't first, you're last. If you ain't first, you're last. And I was first today. <laughs> Look at that. So where do we do the burnouts? 
Shake it back, baby. Shake it back. She said they've got the BMW cars have rented the track out this morning, so they're gonna continue to run for probably the next 15 to 30 minutes. find out we don't actually get to race today but we do get to drive by each other and check out this awesome track that I've seen on TV so many times we're just waiting on the word to go line up at the starting line I don't really know what to do with my hands <laughs> when I'm talking but I think just, just put them down by your side like that. I think I think the truck is gonna handle like a spaceship <laughs> We've got 22 cars lined up so far, so I'm anxious to see how many actually show. But look who's leading the pack. Show them who's leading the pack. Yeah. We found one guy that we talked to and he said, I heard the key is to get in the very back. That way you can give some distance and you can speed up and kind of, which is against the rules by the way. <laughs> but I said, hey, it sounds like you're going as fast as we're gonna go. So I just talked to the guy that drives the pace car. He's going to make an initial lap now. They had to wait on the track to cool after the cars got off of it. And he's got to get, and they've got to get all the like track personnel out of the way. And then he's going to come back and get us. And as soon as he pulls in front of us, we're on. We forgot to bring our pit crew. Current transmission temperature, 174 degrees. What do you think about our track conditions today? I'm along for the ride today. The weather's perfect. This is nice. We get to roll the windows down. I'm happy if you're happy, babe. I'm very happy. <laughs> Sweet. That's two. That's two laps down. Making a pit stop on the finish line. Shake it back. Shake it back. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> I'm on fire. <laughs> this is a three-lap deal for thirty dollars. You actually take the first two laps, and then they stop you right at the finish line. Let everybody take pictures and talk a little bit. So we're just about to hop back in and do our third and final lap. Hopefully we see the checkered flag. I think the resale value on my truck just went up because it's probably one of the few F-350s in the nation that's actually ran on a NASCAR track. <laughs> so a little bit of shake. Four, four years, so. And bake. So was it worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. It was worth every I'm bit on of thirty. Fire! <laughs> Somebody use your witchcraft powers to get the fire off my friend. <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I'm burned! I'm on there is fire! No fire. Please don't let the invisible fire burn my friend! Now we're gonna go back to camp. We're gonna cook up some breakfast for lunch and that share. breakfast we skipped. And share a little special uh, recipe we do with you guys. Yeah, I think you'll like it. I think you'll like it. I know I like it. <laughs> we took a wrong turn. We messed up. Oh. <laughs> Are you following us? Is this your first time at a racetrack? I've never been here before. <laughs> The 
breakfast food that we wanted to show you guys is a Danish tradition, and that's Danish pancakes. And we heard about this from our friend who has this family tradition with her family, which is why we thought it was so neat. We learned this several years ago. We have done this a handful of times, but it's been a couple years. And so admittedly, the first time, it was a train wreck. <laughs> We want to do it at least some justice, so we're going to do this one more time in hope, in hope that this turns out a little bit better. These Danish pancakes are called apple skivers. I'll put it right here. Our friend was kind enough to share his recipe, but we're not going to post that since it's his family recipe. Uh, but it's all over the internet. There's all kinds of different recipes that you can use. The process is what makes it so cool. So you start out with an apple skiver pan. And our friend suggested we put some oil in the center. And then we use a silicone brush to brush throughout. And we're going to wait for this oil to bubble before we put in our apple skiver pancake batter. watching long enough you know we're not winning any cooking awards <laughs> in this house but the process is a lot of fun so just know that if we're able to make it this far whatever you do is gonna be a whole lot better so we want to say thanks to Chris for sharing this tradition with us we think it's really really neat um, and then the cool thing is the things you can do with them after this is endless. You could do powdered sugar, just kind of classic, butter, syrup, fruit, you could put chocolate chips in it, Nutella. I would do Nutella if we didn't buy it and it's already gone. So we don't buy that anymore. We, we do not bring that into this camper. <laughs> I have no doubt that if you try this, you'll enjoy it. Warning, it is very, very messy. Hence why we're doing it outside. <laughs> Lawnmower guy in the rain both knew I was coming out here to do this. About par for the course. Who told me it wasn't supposed to rain today? There was literally not a chance of rain at all. <laughs> like I looked this morning, I'm like, oh, we can go film some stuff today. It's not supposed to rain at all. Wrong. So some of these didn't get done because we got pummeled. Yeah. But they turned out better than the first batch. Well, those turned out great. So powdered sugar, syrup, jam, pick your poison, some fruit, cool whip. Let's do, uh, I'll do some with uh, syrup and cool whip. Okay. So we hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as we do. We thought this was fun. Something a little different. Yeah. Something you don't see every day. Right. So we did sadly have to say goodbye to Kevin and Alicia. And that's the real story of how YouTubers make their videos. Between breaks and lawn mowings. But in the meantime, while we wait, we have bubbles. <laughs> and the bubbles are everywhere. I love bubbles. How fun for the lawnmower guy to have bubbles. I'm on fire! So while we're up here working away, somebody's down there being a flower child. <laughs> I'm exhausted. It must be hard sitting down there working all day. It is. It's hard watching y'all work all day. <laughs> it's, it's always a good time with Kevin and Alicia. We hung out with them in Big Ben back in January. We've stayed in touch with them ever since. Just good overall people and it was nice to hang out with real people that are doing what we do that can kind of share in our experience and share ideas on cool places to go and even get to do a few little uh, fun things together. So if you like this video make sure and check out Kevin and Alicia's video. They do things a little bit different than we do um, but maybe check out things from their perspective. Their video comes out on the 22nd. I'm confident it'll be great. You guys will love it.
But as for us, we're going to close it out here. We'll see you on the next journey. We really appreciate you guys spending part of your week with us. Yes. And we'll see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.